Want to easily edit just your character or any other objects in your scene without messy manual selection? Well, Blender's Crypto Mats feature lets you pick stuff cleanly with just a single click. Here's how they work and how to get them. So what do CryptoMats actually do? Well, they essentially take any 3D object in your scene and turn it into a PNG image, which you can then use to select and edit and mask and mess around with any parts of your scene. So I recently made this in another video of mine where I was recreating my old GFX. Definitely go ahead and check that video once you finish this one as well, up in the corner right now. But I did actually use CryptoMats for this. So right here, you can see I've got a CryptoMat for the character as well as a CryptoMat for just the character's hat. I'll show you why right now. So you can see CryptoMats are literally just PNGs of the character and then inside of Photoshop will to P, you can control click on the little icon of it and then it'll give you a pretty much perfect selection of your object i also got the hat in its own crypto mat so then what i could do is instead of holding down control and clicking on just the hat and selecting only the hat what i can do is i can select our character and then i can go control alt and then click on the hat and you can see that that deselects the hat so now i've got this perfect outline of the whole body except for the hat which what that then allows me to do is make a mask of it on a new layer and i can come in and i can draw shadows just under the eyes there like that without it affecting the hat or anything which you can see i used right here with this mask which is just a mask of all of that and then i gave it some shading as well as a few other little overlays which ended up looking awesome now what you may have noticed just before and if you did watch that video the crypto mats aren't 100 percent perfect like if you zoom in very close you can see it's slightly off just by like half a transparent pixel this usually isn't noticeable from far away like if you just look at the whole render it's usually fine and of course you can go in and manually fix it like i did in that video so it's not really anything important i just thought i'd mention it as well and of course i also use this to shade the character if we go under shading here i've got these two different layers for shading and these both have my crypto mat of the character as the masks so now that you know what crypto mats are and how you can use them let's get into the actual tutorial so the first thing you need to do to get your crypto mat is go under the view layer properties here hit under passes and then crypto mat and then you can enable the crypto mat options here so object lets you select each individual object in your scene separately material lets you select everything that uses the same material even even if it's on different objects an asset lets you select entire groups of objects that were imported or created together as one asset just enable all three to be honest the levels here controls how many different things you can select from the crypto map so basically higher levels equals more selection options for most scenes six or seven or eight is fine but you can go as detailed as you like now you have to render your scene to actually get access to the crypto mats so go render render image or just click f12 after it's finished rendering go image save as and then you can save your render but next we're going to close out of this and then head to the compositing tab at the top of blender in this bottom bit we'll change it to the image editor and then click this drop down type in viewer and then you want to change it to the viewer node click shift a and add in a viewer node and we'll connect the image up to the viewer node and now in this image editor with the viewer node selected you can then get your render here which if you didn't save it before you can save it again after that click shift a go under mask and then we're going to add in a crypto map here you can click this drop down and then choose the object asset or material which i did explain before now you can type in the id of of any object for example if i go under my blocky rig here and i get the name of my hat which i'm pretty sure is handle one i copy that and i type it in here it's now going to be selecting that handle one so if i put it into the image node you'll see that that hat has the name handle one so then inside of the compositor when we type that in there it is going to select our hat there but i'm going to attach my default image back up to the viewer and instead of typing in the id we can just click the plus here and use this eyedropper to select whichever object would like so i can select just the torso accessory here so if we see if i plug that in now we have just this little vest suit part selected and i can plug this back in and we can choose as many as you'd like so if you want to have multiple selected you can go through and select all of these different ones and of course that's going to give us the selection of the suit except for the bottom leg which we can actually just add to that collection but there of course we can use material instead because all of the suit will have the same material so if i just select that material and plug it in all of the suit is now selected and you can also use assets so if i grab this here it is just selecting the blocky rig you can see no matter where i hover it's selecting the whole blocky rig there so if i now plug that in it's just selecting the entire blocky rig after you've got your crypto mat you can just go image save as and it's as easy as that now you have your crypto mats that you can use inside of your project you can use these for whatever you'd like they're super handy for just quick easy selections and masks thank you so much for watching this video i hope it did help join the gfx runner discord server link in the description below for an awesome gfx community and i'll see you all next time goodbye